Good morning and welcome. So glad that you are here gathered in worship at uh, St. Luke's, Bloomington, Minnesota, and whether you are online or in person, it's wonderful to be worshiping the Lord. And today we have communion, and so if you are at home, I would encourage you to find something for your bread or for your wine uh, and join us at the table uh, later in worship. <coughs> Reminder, next week will be uh, Karen Stevenson sharing the message uh, while I'm away with um, a number of our members uh, sailing the Apostle Islands. If you missed out this year, sign up for next year. We'd love to have you. Uh, but what you won't miss out on is Feed My Starving Children, which is Monday, February 26th, uh, September. Why did I say February? <laughs> September 26th. Um, and uh, if we have nine spots of the 25 filled, so we'd love to have you join us. And then on October 9th, we have uh, some people joining us for uh, part of St. Luke's and had a wonderful lunch together and uh, shared um, the history of St. Luke's and uh, the benefits of what it means to be a member here. And one of them will be sharing our reading this morning, Donna, so please greet her. Uh, and we kicked off Wednesday Night Live uh, every Wednesday, 5.30, a community meal for all ages, and then educational opportunities that follow from 6 to 7. And then the choir uh, also is on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. So come for dinner, stay for education, and then sing and join us uh, on Wednesdays. Along with singing, um, Choir Director Bernie Asher has asked if there are those who have the ability for playing percussion or would like to learn as a part of our senior choir here at St. Luke's, simply talk to them or outside on the table are signups for all the different things about worship that you will hear in the message today. With all of that said, I invite you to stand as we start our worship with confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desire is known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. I encourage you to take a moment of silent reflection. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as you love us. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead to sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Let us join together in singing, All Who Hunger Gather Gladly, number 461 in the back of your hymnal. Grace. 
see eternal taste and see that God is good all who hunger The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord.
Let us pray. You are great, O God, and greatly to be praised. You have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Grant that we may believe in you, call upon you, know you, and serve you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Today is our Bible Sunday, Bible Milestone Day. So here at St. Luke's, our kids will get six Bibles at their time here at St. Luke's. So it begins with baptism, the first Bible that they'll receive, and then they'll get a preschool Bible when they're about four or three or four, and then they'll get their Spark Story Bible when they are kindergarten, first grade, or second grade, and then they will get the Deep Blue Kids Bible when they are in third, fourth, and fifth grade, and then sixth grade, they will also get a Bible. And then once they hit confirmation, they get to pick out their own adult Bible for themselves that they'll use maybe forever. All right. So receive this gift of this Bible so that the story of God and God's people may be with you at home, church, or wherever you shall choose to carry it. Enjoy reading how God is at work in nature and history. Learn about life and teachings of Jesus. Be open to how God may continue to speak to you through your reading of your scriptures. And then I'm going to have you guys read this. So that one's for Mari and that one's for Lynn. Okay. Mari, we promise at your baptism as you grow in years to place in your hands the Bible to know God's word and trust in the promises. And then you can hand it over to her and then you can just read it from her. Amen. Amen. All right. Lenny, are you ready? Lenny, we promise at your baptism as you grow in years to place in your hands the Bible to know God's word and trust in the promises. Perfect. And then one more. All right, so we'll have you read this and then you'll say amen. Matthew, we promised at your baptism as you grow in years to place in your hands the Bible to know God's word and trust in the promises. Amen. All right. And then we will let us pray. Heaven and Father, for Jesus' sake, make yourself known as we read your word. Bless our life, bless our homes, bless our congregation. By the power of your Holy Spirit, guide us along the paths that lead you in life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And then it's also time for our time for children's message. So if you guys want to sit down, (laughs) we're just going to move right into it. (laughs) Good morning. How are you guys today? Good? How do you guys get to school in the morning? I know you guys just started your new school year. How do you get to school in the morning? Bus. Bus. You take a bus? I took a bus when I was younger, too. And sometimes when I was younger, it kind of made me nervous to take the bus because I never knew who I was going to sit by, and I was always worried that I was going to be late and miss the bus. Do you guys ever get worried on the bus? No. <laughs> some kids are worried and some kids aren't. But what do you do in other times when you feel worried? Sometimes you have to um, face it with other people. Yeah, that's good. If you're worried, how do you do or nervous? I just walk right through the problem. Walk right through the problem? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, today we're going to read a little Bible verse that I thought would be good for today. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. So I thought this would be good for us today to remind us to be strong and that we can handle anything, right? (laughs) 
And I also thought it would be good today because today is our Bible Sunday. So you guys received your new Bibles. And now you can read all of our stories. And you can just be so excited to read your new Bibles. All right. Let's end in a prayer. And we'll go to Children's Church. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for our new Bibles. We are so excited. Help us read through all of your stories and get to know you better through your word. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. The first reading from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh and a refreshment for your body. The word of the Lord. According to Matthew, the 11th chapter, Jesus is speaking to the crowds. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. Welcome to Rally Sunday, although I think it's more of a rally week. When church comes back together after the summer, people who go up north for the weekends or the entire summer begin returning. Welcome back, Bob and Becky and Deb and others. Welcome back to the choir here at 8.30 in the morning. So glad to have your voices help lead us in worship. And we kicked off Wednesday Night Live actually before Rally Sunday so we could prepare for our Bible milestone where there are opportunities for all ages. So I invite you to join us on Wednesday evenings. Now this is Rally Day, and it made me think of when I attended the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities. I had student season hockey tickets. During the game, if a player commits a penalty, the player goes into the penalty box. And the team has one less player on the ice. It's called a power play. After time is served in the infra for the infraction, a player is re released from the penalty box. And the announcer calls out, Minnesota is full strength. And all the crowd responds, those who know it, always were. <clears throat> I'm happy to say that we stay pretty strong as a church throughout the summer. We continue to have our children's church all year long. That was actually um, directed to me when I was at another congregation. It was Spirit Garage. We were trying to reach people who didn't go to church, and there was this single mom who had a couple of kids. And when she brought the kids, they went to children's church, just like we do here, and um, enjoyed their morning together. And when summer came around, we had our education meeting to talk about what we're going to be doing this summer. And one of the members who grew up in a church and thought it would be cool to be part of Spirit Garage said, well, we don't do Sunday school in the summer. And then this single mom who was new to church said, why, why is the church closed? Uh, no, we just have worship. We don't have the kids come to, come to Sunday school. But that's what my child loves to do. That's church for them. And so from that point on, we made sure that there was church for children 
all summer long, just like there is church for kid, uh, for all of the adults all summer long. And slowly they blend together as they grow in years. And we were really at full strength last Sunday. For God's work, our hands, thank you to all who participated in the service inside and outside of the building. Blessing bags were put together for Oasis for homeless youth. Blankets were tied to share the warmth with others. Curious people checked out our new sewing room. Scarves, mittens, hats, and prayer shawls were on display for the knitting ministry. And then there were those who got down on their hands and knees, uh, hearty souls beautifying our property. They accomplished much between door E and to the playground. Special kudos to those who stayed until 2 p.m. working outside. As one member said, we blew our entire volunteer overtime budget. <laughs> Susan Sartell made the library team proud, organizing new books in the new locations. Our church library is now the entire hallway back behind our sanctuary. Along with, if you continue outdoor D, you'll find our new free little library at the, at where the sidewalk ends. And so I invite you to, to join a part of that. It is the take a book, share a book um, process. And so continue to grow in your learning. And then on that note, we shared Bibles. Three before the reading, 20 in total will be given out this week, including an adult receiving one, uh, the two children who will be baptized at our 10 a.m. service will receive their first Bible, which is a card stock, a cardboard Bible, or I don't remember how to say that. And um, in total, as you heard Emily say, six will be shared as they grow in years. I was one of those um, kids who got that black Bible. Do you remember those? The black kind of fake leather Bible in fourth grade? And it was like, okay. And when I worked at another church, Bethlehem, they gave out to the fourth graders the Oxford Annotated Edition. <laughs> that just got them really excited to read. So as they grow in years, you give them the age-appropriate developmental Bible. And that is what we do here. And all this makes for a fun and eventful rally day. Yes, rally day in decades past had more pageantry, even including parades. I understand you did a, a 5K run at one time. Well, we still had our parade. We simply did it outside with Heritage Days. And we uh, went through the streets, passing out 2,500 fruit snacks. Uh, the fruit of the Spirit was alive and well, and we shared it with the adults, as also telling them that no matter your age, you're a child of God, and they'd smile and they'd take one and enjoy. And that was made possible with the labeling of those 2,500 um, fruit snacks at our God's Work, Our Hands project. I just love what church is all about. It's so unique. Where else do people gather of all ages to share their lives with one another, learning about and praising God so we can go out into the world refreshed and renewed to be Jesus' hands, feet, and voice, sharing a glimpse of heaven on earth? We gather we gain and we give. That is what our two readings speak to. From Pro Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. It will be a healing for your flesh and refreshment for your body. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. If trust in God is to be true, it must be complete. To put half our trust in God and half our trust in ourself or something else is really failure to trust the Lord at all. We are called to give God our full trust, living every moment, not just an hour on Sundays, in praising God and giving thanks. From Matthew, we hear Jesus say to the crowds, and we do so not out of obligation, but this invitation, come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. Proverbs is the book of wisdom in the Bible. Jesus is the personified divine wisdom. Matthew affirms that those who recognize Jesus as the divine messenger do so not on the basis of superior religious status or individual intelligence, but as a gift from God to those who are open 
and unpretentious. This contrasts the leadership of the religious leaders of the day who rejected Jesus and his followers. The religious leaders looked down on others who did not think and act in manners that they thought were appropriate. Yoke was a common metaphor for servitude and hence obedience. The religious leaders of the day demanded the law and their positions to be blindly followed. For Jesus, his yoke is easy. A deliverance from the artificial burdens of human religion imposed by religious leaders which actually become a barrier to communion with God. Jesus offers this invitation to the crowds. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Rest is not mere ease, but it is more accurately translated as salvation associated with kingdom, the kingdom of God and eternal life. Jesus' invitation and the words from Proverbs encourage us to acknowledge God, and God will make straight your paths. That's our anniversary theme verse. God's word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. Jesus is the light of the world, shines back on that path. And we, in following, let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You shine your light as you love the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your strength, and you love your neighbor as you love yourself. That is what, as a church, we offer. I invite you to walk through our 2023 ministry handbook. And as I say that, I realized I walked up here without one. If somebody has one that they can run up to me. Thank you, Adam. On the front cover is the great commandment. Again, love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And inside, we connect our core values to the great commandment. In the month ahead, we invite you to live that out. Last week, it was love the Lord with all of your heart in service. And over 40 people signed up for ministries that were on the tables outside or in fellowship hall. And I know there's so many more who didn't sign up, but we did get a few new names, which was wonderful. And then this week is to love the Lord your God in worship. I'll close with that. And next week is love your neighbor as yourself through evangelism. And next is followed by the love the Lord with all your soul in community. You've heard the phrase, we're soulmates. Well, as a family, we share our souls together. And love the Lord with all your strength in stewardship. And love the Lord with all your mind in discipleship. We took the liberty of switching things around um, during our messages to make it fit our flow better. But those are our core values. Simply what every Christian should do. Or simply what every church should do. You are invited to identify one ministry in each one of the core values that you will live out in the year ahead. Some of you do many, some of you do few, all of you can do some. Remember this as I continue. A compliment for one is not a criticism for another, and at the risk of doing so, I identify one who is among us, who lives out our core values on a regular basis. Nancy Erickson, who's sitting in our choir right now. She's often behind the soundboard. In worship, she's also in service. She helps us on Wednesday nights with the Sandwich Man. In worship, as the Worship and Music Council representative, she's in choir in the sound tech. In evangelism, she comes for trunk or treat. In community, through the wedding ministry, welcoming those uh, who are joining their lives together in stewardship, sharing her offering in discipleship with Vacation Bible School, Children's Church, and the Wednesday night preschool and parent, and parent leader section. Thank you, Nancy. Simply what every Christian could, should do. And we are so glad that you are an example for all of us to continue to live out our faith, not just an hour on Sunday mornings. And so today, we have sign-ups for all things worship. 
They're out on the table, which include altar guild, acolyte, bells of praise, camera tech, cantor, children and youth choir, if those students sign up, communion server, festival choir, greeter, jubilee praise team, lector ministry, live stream worship host, special music, St. Luke's choir, sound tech, Techs, ushers, video operators, welcome desk, worship assistants. That's just in worship, and those opportunities are available outside online. And we can add to that our special worships, our campfire worship, our Christmas worship, and Easter worship. I put those in evangelism because sometimes that's when people come to church. And for us to welcome them fully, not to say, well, where have you been? But welcome home. Along with our Veterans Day. And then that's, worship is supported through our dishwashing team as our communion cups will all be cleaned following worship. Uh, our Sunday coffee host and Sunday treat providers, our, the attendance entry, our bulletin production, our tellers. Uh, we have a nursery, activity bags, children's church, playground leaders, children and youth choir. Somebody said, really? Over 100 people help with St. Luke's worship? That's 38 opportunities right there. And with the number of people we have inquired, you know, that puts us over 50. And all the people that rotate those things, over 100 people help live out a life of worship. Love the Lord your God. So this year, our stewardship theme is stewardship is heart work. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart which is made known in how we serve, worship, share the good news, live in community, grow in our faith. All of these things are ways to share our tithes and offerings, not just money, but our very lives. Your pledge card will include a place for each core value. Look through the ministry catalog and consider, how will you live in a life of faith in the year ahead? Let me end with one of my favorite quotes from Minister Edward Everett Hale. I am only one, but, I am, but still I'm one. I cannot do everything, but I can still do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can do. May our hearts learn to beat as one, so all will come to know the acceptance, forgiveness, and love of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite us now to lift our voices in singing our hymn of the day, Where Charity and Love Prevail.
Please join me now in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Strengthened by the Spirit who gives us words to speak and hearts to, that care, let us bring our hopes and needs to God who listens. O oh God, strengthen and empower your church. Where it is weak or timid, raise up leaders, support it with your gift of inner strength and peace. Let us pray. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Creator God, the earth groans when we do not regard it with loving care. Forgive us for polluting the water and the air, for stripping the land of its natural resources, and for caring more about our own comfort than the long-term health of the planet. Let us pray. Hear us, O God. How beautiful it is when people dwell together in unity. Help, it, help us appreciate the differences among us to seek understanding one another and to work together for harmony. Hear us, O God. Holy source of hope, so many people are in pain today. Give us hearts of compassion, hands to, that heal, and lips that speak words of comfort and encouragement. Surround with your love all those in need. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. As you walked with Abraham and Sarah, the Magi, and all who followed your call, be with those who travel this day, pilots and truckers, cab drivers and train engineers, those on vacation, and those on the road for work. Hear us, O oh God. Alpha and Omega, you are with us from our first breath to our last. We give thanks for the faithfully departed who now rest in your loving arms. May that promise of the resurrection sustain those who trust in you. Hear us, O oh God. We lift our prayers to you, God of mercy, confident that all things are in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. And also with For all who are gathered, let us take a moment to welcome everyone with a wave of peace. For those of you online, please share a word of peace in the comment or chat. Most of all, as we go out into the world, may we greet others as people of peace. And it was the Prince of Peace who gathered his followers at the table. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. 
And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. he was betrayed, our Lord took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, and after giving thanks, gave it all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant of my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sin. Take and drink. Do this in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we share the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Congregation may be seated. I invite those who are assisting to please come forward at this time. And for those of you who are at home, take and eat. This is the body of Christ. Take and drink. This is the blood of Christ.
I invite you to stand. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. and joyces raise tell everyone what God has done let everyone who seeks the Lord rejoice and bear the name of Christ send us with your promises and lead your people forth in joy with shouts of thanksgiving Alleluia Gracious God, in this meal you have drawn us to your heart and nourished us at your table with food and drink, the body and blood of Christ. Now send us forth to be your people in the world and to proclaim your truth this day and evermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Amen. Let us join in singing, Lead Me, Guide Me, number 768 in the back of your hymnal.
Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.